Hello, my name is Jan Mattes. I'm Area Product Owner for Customer Analytics. And I'm now going to show to you how easy it is to create a new report using the CRM Subhana Live reporting uh, and to deploy those this new report as a Fiori app to end users using CRM Fiori apps. So um, let me uh, shortly switch into the CRM web UI with the planned delivery for Q2 2014. We um, will be offering in CRM a capability which enable key users to design own reports, to do the setting for those reports and to deploy those um, reports to the end users. In the past, this has been only be possible within the CRM web UI, but as of uh, Q2 2014, we will also be able to make those reports available using a simple Fiori app. So let me now um, show you how this can be done. I'm logged on as a key user for analytics uh, who is responsible for designing and managing reports for end users, for business users. I um, select here one of the reports that I have been recently defining. I copy that new report and give it a short name. So give it a name demo. And um, with that, I get uh, the view of the report as it is currently. You see it's a simple bubble chart analyzing um, opportunities by expected sales volume, weighted sales volume, and uh, duration of the sales cycle in days. Um, I want to change the drill down of that report a bit. Let me first switch the chart type. I go here to combination chart to get a different kind of visualization. Um, I uh, want to remove the key figure sales cycle duration in days. I simply click here on the X. And um, furthermore, I want to have a drill down where the data is not aggregated by the opportunities itself, but um, by the name of the account. And uh, that's why I have to select here the prospect ID. So I select that here as well. So let me now get a short view on how my report will be looking. I think that looks great. So now I have the names of the accounts on the button. I have the value, the weighted and expected value, and um, I have a nice combination chart. Um, finally, I could also do some settings which the user cannot be changing. Let's say I could um, introduce some filter settings uh, like, let's say, filtering for the sales organization um, or a certain sales employee responsible. Uh, if I would be doing this, I could enter a, a value and then also hide those values that the end user cannot be changing those. So, But we want to stay simple right at the start, and that's why I simply now save and close the report. With that, I'm done in the CRM web UI. Let me now switch to the Fiori launchpad. In the Fiori launchpad, you get a list of all tiles which allow the user to start the Fiori apps. And um, of course, you might be having multiple uh, launch tiles for different uh, reporting objects. You see here one of the tiles is named Opportunities. We have another one which is called Activities for doing activity analysis. I now uh, go into the Opportunity um, Report app and open that up. And after a few seconds, you'll be seeing the full list of reports uh, regarding opportunity. And to find my report, I simply type here demo. And then you see already the report I just created. And if I click on that report, then um, I will be seeing exactly the same picture that we just seen in the CRM web UI. Let's now filter for some additional reports just to get more data in there. So this is, again, the bubble chart that we've just been seeing. And what I could do here in addition is I could also change the filter settings for such a report. So in that case, I um, might be switching here the filtering for the analysis phase um, just to see a few of them. I click here and select a couple of them, and then I um, confirm this by clicking, and then I get a, big, uh, a different picture. Now different opportunities are being shown. 
So thanks a lot for your time and bye bye.